Um, today we're gonna have fun. I say that every time. I guess I mostly have fun. Okay. Remember like a few videos ago whenever I did, uh, I've tried to get a good combo for parakeet and I ended up with a combo that didn't have parakeet, but it was pretty. So I wanted to revisit it because I was talking with my friends, Nikki, Nikki D Art and Mitchell from Rain and Pours. And I was like, I feel like this color combo will actually work better with it because with a more tropical vibe. So we decided to do a little collab. So their videos I'm gonna put in the description. Go find them because I've seen Mitchell's already and I'm kind of jaloux because it's a really pretty color combo. I really like what he did and I haven't seen Nikki's yet, but you know, Nikki's gonna bring it. Uh, so let's discuss my vibe. Okay, tropical, okay? Now, I'm. you know how I always try to do like minimal and like when I started doing blooms and I had bad consistencies, no blow, I was really doing these really pretty simplistic blooms and I cannot recreate them. It's like impossible because it's like I can't undo everything that I've learned even though I wanna go back, it's very hard. We're gonna try again with like tropical blooms, okay? And I want like a lot of white and I want like petals, petals, petals. Will I have to do like a Nikki D and like take my palette knife and stretch, which I don't like doing, it hurts me, but I might do it. You never know what I'm gonna do, but that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing like different colors like this, all right? We're gonna start with TLP Sea Glass. Really one of my favorites, so pretty, okay? Next, I mixed up some Matisse, Australian Red Violet. Now, I'm only a little concerned because it's a little thin and I don't want to add another bloop of bear because like I'm already to the top. So let's hope that it's okay. On top of that, we will go parakeet. On top of that, we will have our Thalo Turquoise. You see where I'm going with that? On top of that, one of my all-time new faves, Persephone, TLP Persephone. So good. And then I'm gonna top it off with, this is Triart Cobalt Teal. You can use any teal, really. All right? The pillow I have is just a Sherwin-Williams Pure White, and I've added some water to thin one, two, three. Like when you do, it's very hard to figure out traces with pillows because they're all different. But anyways, around five seconds. I think for my cell activators, which is Australian Floetrol and paint, I'm gonna use Atelier Pale Gold, which makes big cells, and titanium white. So that's the Vige. Are we gonna do the Vige? Probably not. I'm gonna try. And if not, I'll just do a regular bloom, right? But we're just playing around. Well, let's get to work. By the way, I've decided to add TLP Shimmer to the mix. It's a blue, it's like a turquoise interference, maybe you can see it, but you'll see it shortly. I think it will go perfect. Okay, so because I don't want to spin it out too much, um, I mean, yes, I don't wanna spin it out too much. So I'm gonna do like a thinner layer and I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna spin it a few times just so, oh yeah, this, and this is pretty thin, which is good. Um, because I don't wanna to have to spin it out too much and stretch these little delicate blooms that we've got going on in my mind. I'm gonna put more, but I'm just, this might be a little thin. Now, thin is okay because Thin makes more flowy things, okay? I just hope I don't blow out the color too much, but we'll see. We might have to adjust as we go, which is fine. Okay, so we are covered. And I'm gonna just spinny winny. Okay, yep. We are quite thin. Lisa might have put a little too much water. Oh no, I think the bottom is actually a little thicker. Okay. Yeah, see it's a little thicker at the bottom. Just be careful when you add water. Okay. Enough talking. Okay. 
I see that's something. Little booger. All right. Vision. Vision. Yep. The, ready? I got the vision. I'm doing weird shapes. I'm gonna do two flowers of weird shapes. And this is what I mean. You know, we are doing like, like, like leaves. Yep, I'm like building flowers, okay? Doopity do. Right, so I'm gonna, yeah. Hmm, do I want something in the middle? Maybe. What am I, you know? Like I'm just, let's wait and see. I'll build the first two. Cause nature, by the way, is usually in like odd numbers. Okay, like threes. So if you wanna do flowers normally, it's better. Do you hear my husband dying? Okay. Okay, we're, we're just gonna keep going, okay? I've never done this shape before, okay? I'm gonna do a lot of parakeet because that was the whole point, wasn't it? Okay. Um, parakeet, now we're gonna do a little bit of the phthalo turquoise because it does take over. We are being wild and crazy. So over the turquoise, I'm gonna do the shimmer. I'm gonna do two piggies over this turquoise. So we're doing shimmer and then, <laughs> my husband's so gross. First he chokes, then he sneezes. It's like redonkulous. Okay, this is called Persephone. See, we're getting a lot of paint. Okay, I'll see how that goes. All right, and then we're chopping it off a bit of the teal. I could have made the shapes bigger now that I'm thinking of it, but all right, so you see what's going on here, okay? Again, now I'm gonna just like blow, like I'm blowing petals crazily. The colors, kind of crazy, but could be pretty. So I'm gonna start with gold. Now the gold always looks thicker than regular cell activator, that's okay. It's just going to have bigger cells. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one piece at a time. I'm gonna start with this piece, okay, and blow out a petal. I'm gonna do gold and white, okay? I'm gonna work kind of fast. I don't know what I'm doing, are you ready? Okay, first petal. Okay, second petal. Oh, I just did white. That's fine by me. And we'll do gold on top of that. All right. Oh shoot, let's go. Okay, weird shape. Yes, we know. cells. Okay. Yeah. Those are pretty. Hold on. I'm going to show you a close up. One sec. See what I mean? Cool colors. So far, we don't know what we're doing, but all right. Okay. Let's continue with this one. We'll do the same-ish thing. Too bad we're going to, you know what? I could stretch it out instead of spinning, you know? So this one, I really want to make sure it looks nice towards the middle. You know what I mean? work up here. OK. 
Okay, lots of interesting shapes. Not the look I was going for. It's very maximalist instead of minimalist. I definitely put way too much paint for what I wanted originally, but that's okay. We can, we can work with this. Now, the middle is what's gonna annoy us, right? Let's see what we like though. I mean, there's interesting things going on. I just don't know what they are yet. And if you know what I mean. Um, why don't I do some tilting? You know what? We're gonna go have fun and throw caution to the wind and we might ruin it and that's okay. And then I'll just do a regular bloom on top, but this is really fun to experiment. Um, the colors and the sparkle are really cool. Um, so let's tilt a little bit. Let's get the edges off that we don't like. Okay. So I'm just gonna like go like oh, slowly. This, that's already starting to get a little wonky. I don't know, we're having some fun. And I might, you know, skewer things. Okay, just so very going very slow. Okay. Obviously we need to get this edge off. Mm, am I making it super weird? Kind of. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. Don't be alarmed. Okay. I mean, it is giving coral vibes. You know what I mean? If I get rid of If I get rid of this one here. Okay, let's go slow. I'm just gonna take this bottom corner off here. Okay, then we'll see what's happening. Okay, so a little corner off there. Okay. All right, definite, definitely coral. Okay, let's go back now. Hold on, I'm gonna put it a little to the center, okay? Then I'm gonna try to get this off and see what happens. If we can save it, I don't know. Let's see, okay. We're really gonna like get this one as much off as we can, I think. Let's look at her. Um, the colors are cool. Okay, hold on. Let's just look at the composition here. I know it's looking wild. Now, the colors are so cool. So either I can make it coral with that on the bottom, or I can spin it out and see what happens to keep them both together and to somehow form, make the middle interesting. So I'm just looking at composition now, because right now the middle white part is not interesting. Like they don't look like they connect. I might really stretch it out because I really like this one. I'm just gonna go for it. We're gonna take off as much as we can of this, okay? And if this doesn't work, um, that's fine. At least we know we kind of like the colors. You know what I mean? Okay, let's get it back to the middle. I don't know, I, this is definitely different than what I normally do, I realize that. Um, I'm gonna try to get this down, this part here. Okay. Hmm. I don't know, you guys. You know what's hard for me? When things are too busy. 
Um, I don't love it, but that's, I'm just a bad judge. Some people really like it. I just don't know if it's too much or not. Do you know what I mean? I mean, this bottom part is looking so interesting. It's dead, like, just like this. I, I'm really digging the bottom part. Do you know what I mean? Oops, see, hold on. All right, let me spin it a bit and see where we get. Um, definitely giving coral, but it's crazy. It might be too crazy, but it's definitely giving, you know what? Let me, yeah, okay, I'm gonna spin and then I'll see. See how we're doing. It's kind of cool. I kind of like it. Isn't that crazy that I like it. It's like doesn't make sense to my brain at all. But I don't know. Am I crazy? You guys might, might tell me I'm crazy. Okay, we're calling it coral under the under the wild sea. Okay. I don't know. People might hate me. Don't worry. I'm going to do another one, like a normal one. But like, sometimes it's nice going out of the box and you do never know. I don't even know if I have to skewer anything. Um, so let me spin one more time. Maybe these edges can come off. I don't think so. Um, what was I going to say? You never know. I'm always surprised by what people like that I think is ugly. Do you know what I mean? So you never do know. Yeah, okay, I got that edge off. I could do one, but I don't wanna to get too much of the bottom off. It's pretty. Okay. I might be insane. Under the sea. Let's do a close up and then I'm gonna do um, something else. Yeah, cool. All right, let's just do a regular, since I, I'll never be able to do what I want to do, which is super simple. It's just not in my DNA, I guess. Um, hold on, I see one trying to come out, but that's okay. I mean, I could keep trying, but it would just take forever, wouldn't it? I would really, honestly, it's, it's just a mix of so many things. You know, it's obviously how much paint I put down to begin with. Um, but also because my paints are thicker, but I don't want to start thinning down all my paints, you know? All right, so let's make a pretty bloom and I don't want full coverage. I do want negative space. So in order for that to happen, I again will make this thin, even though it is a little waterier. So let's see. So the plan is, I actually, I didn't mind my layering at all. Um, yeah. Okay. 
and I'll just put a little bit more in the middle in case you know how I am. Okay, ready? Sea glass. Also, I don't want to put too much paint, Lisa. Because if I put too much paint, you know, I'll get full coverage. <laughs> a little of that. A little of this. A little of that. A little. I do like this color combo. I think, right? A little of that. A little of that. A little of this. All right, then we'll do the double cell activator again. Yeah, see, this isn't gonna blow out very far because I don't have a thick pillow. So just keep that in mind as well. When I blow, I'm not gonna try not to blow too hard because I don't want that pillow to come up. Let's see if I can be successful. Ready? See how it's not going far at all? And I don't want to force it too much. Okay. Okay. This is fine. I don't see much parakeet as of now. Ugh, I love the sea glass with the blue and the Persephone. It's really pretty. It's not parakeet central, but at the same time, I want to show you what I mean. Just look at how the blue with the Persephone, oh, it's like so jewel toned, you know? I love them together. Okay, let's figure it out. Okay, it's cute. She's not gonna go far though. Um, do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna spin her a little bit and then I'm gonna make leaves after. I'm kind of doing reverse what I normally do, which is make the leaves and spin. Because she's really cute. Um, but, and I would just want maybe little leaves. She's cute. I just hope she spins okay. Let's see. Because there's not a lot of paint too. You know what I mean? I think I like her. Little lady. Okay, we're going to make leaves after, okay? After-ish. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit more paint here just so she doesn't fight. Okay, oh, why don't I make parakeet leaves? Okay, this is what we're doing. Hmm, hold please. I'm gonna find a mid, like what's going on here? Oh, that's a piggy. Too bad I don't have any mm, like leaf, leaf colored, mid greens going on. I have like a yucky green, which I don't like. Um, and then I have like a light, you know what, fine. You know what we'll do? I happen to have um, phthalo green light, okay? I don't know how we're gonna, mm. okay, 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 don't panic. I'm going, maybe, shall I swipe it? <laughs> okay. I didn't I really prepare a clean swiper, hold on. Okay, so you see this little swiper here? It's actually called a palette knife if you're a professional. Okay, see this? That's what we got going on right now. I'm going to put my white cell activator, okay, on it. I should show you. I'm popping it with my cell activator, okay? Then I am drizzling a bit of this green. Okay, then I am drizzling the parakeet. This might be a bad idea. Okay, then it'd be good with a smaller one maybe. We're, we're just gonna make some green leaves. 
I'm gonna keep going. I'm going to clean my palette knife. Okay. And do the same thing. Again. Like the mint green isn't the best for a leaf, but I only have this from that yucky color combo I did, that like warm yucky green that I made. You know. Maybe I'll just do plain parakeet. Let's see. Okay, so for this one I did cell activator and just plain parakeet. Normally you don't really want to put cell activator right over a piggy because it doesn't say crisp, but we're wild and crazy people here, you know? I'm gonna do it again. We're going white parakeet. All right. I'm just gonna re-swipe right over here. It's so funny, I find it hard swiping that way. I could do it that way, but okay. I don't, I wish I kind of, I guess I could take this off. It's, hold please, I'm just kind of removing some of that green because it was, Taking my eye. Okay, let's spin again and then we can like sh fix it with a skewer. See if I did it properly, but we'll see, right? Okay. All right. Yep, we're getting there. I mean, you know, she's definitely a flower. Um, I'm going to, you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to take pillow. I've never done this before. I'm taking pillow paint and I'm swiping over the part I don't like with pillow paint. Okay. Just this part here. Okay. That kind of worked nice. Let's see how much more we have to spin before I... Not much. So I got to really be careful because remember how I made it super thin? That's the problem too. You can't, you don't really have room. I'm doing more pillow paint just right here. You don't really have room for mistakes so much, do you? I'm going to put a little bit more actually just here at the edge here. Okay. Whatever. What if she's just a cute little flower? Never what we plan, but that's all right. Uh, okay, I'm not gonna spin her too much more, but I do, I'm actually now, maybe with my palette knife, I'm gonna shape, I'm covering with pillow paint and I'm just going to sh shape the leaves that I want a little better, you know? I'll go back in with a skewer, but I just wanted to get that part out of the way. I don't mind this. I didn't do that on purpose, but that, uh, the phthalo turquoise there. All right. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Just figuring out what kind of leaves we're looking at here, you know? You want to make sure your lines are kind of going the same way, I think. So it doesn't hurt your eye too much. I actually like this leaf. I'm not gonna even touch it. Um, hmm. You see what I'm looking at right now? I mean, I don't know. This little thing is bothering me here. I wonder if I should her a little bit. You know, if I make more intentional petals, a little bit. Um, right now I'm just kind of fiddling. This one for sure. I'm trying not to touch the bottom. I think we're okay. I mean, you know, actually, this part's bothering me. This bottom part here, I'm gonna make white. 
All right, so I'm just again covering it. I really like this technique of pillow paint, swiping with pillow paint and kind of correcting it that way. You know what I mean? I'm gonna do a little bit more right here, but I like the shape much better. The problem is swiping over color with pillow paint does create cells, by the way. Uh, so just be aware of that. Okay, you guys, I think she's done. Again, not what we were looking for. Uh, oh, hold on, <laughs> I'm still fiddling. Just the edge, I don't want paint there. Just right here. But that's again because I swiped over it. Okay. Um, not what we wanted. But I, I mean, she's like, she's a cute little flower. What do you want from me? You know what I mean? Um, okay, I don't think I'm gonna, maybe I'll spin her one more little time. All right, guys, thank you so much. Tell me what, how did I do with this tropical, I mean, that's not tropical anymore, but with the tropical parakeet vibe, do you like the crazy one under the sea coral? Do you like this cute little guy? Let me know, bye.